Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah. Now, a while ago, I put up a short about this magnesium spray. My mom had suggested I use magnesium lotion on the bottom of my feet before I go to bed. Now, I will be honest, I forget to put it on, but I did, I found this spray and I got it. And actually, Daryl uses it probably more than I do. Well, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, TikTok made me buy my own magnesium flakes. That's right, I have a six pound bag of magnesium flakes. And we are going to make our own spray. So if you remember, or even if you don't, which is totally fine, the fragrances in this was not just the magnesium, it was frankincense, lavender, and olive oil. Olive oil? I apologize. Aloe vera. <laughs> Don't know where olive oil came from, but that's besides the point. Anyways, so this had frankincense, lavender, and aloe vera. I unfortunately do not have aloe vera, so I'm not going to be using that. But I do have a little bottle of lavender oil from the Blue, Blue Barn Lavender Farm which I will link them in the description box below, as well as the others that we have. But the Blue Barn Lavender Farm was a place that we went to in California right before I moved here to Kansas. And I'll link that video in the description box below as well, in case you wanted to watch it. But it's a really neat place and I love to support local places. And at the time, that's what this was. So yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit of lavender and I have the frankincense. I'm using Now Essential Oils. That's what my husband has gotten. He's gotten a bunch of it. I have two of them because one's almost empty, but here's the frankincense. And I thought I would add a little bit of floral, at least to mine. So I am adding jasmine. I hope that this works well. Maybe I should, yeah, never mind. I'm gonna just do it. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of jasmine to give it a little bit of a floral scent with the lavender. And uh, yeah, let's see what we'll get by making our own magnesium spray. I do want to, and I have already looked up recipes for lotion because I would love to use this to make lotion as well. Because I will probably use the lotion more than a spray. That being said, I was in the spray frame of mind after buying the bottle from Walmart that I ordered my own glass spray bottles from Amazon, and I have two of them. I believe they're four ounces, so it'll be a total of eight ounces together. Yeah, yeah. Glass, pretty. And it comes with, I will link those in the description box as well. It comes with two extra sprays, a little funnel, and a little, uh, oops, sucker, squeegee, sucker upper thingy, whatever. I'm not sure. And then it also comes with labels so you can label your, your bottles. I don't know that I'm gonna, I mean, I might. We'll see. We'll see. I might put magnesium spray on and yeah. So anyways, I saw a video after having done my, gotten the spray. I did see a video on how to make my own spray. And basically it's one to one. So it, if you put in, a cup of magnesium you'll use a cup of distilled or filtered water so I am going to right now just because I I know I believe these are four ounces but I don't know how the magnesium will make it expand if it will at all or if it'll just be four ounces because I'm gonna do um, half a cup of the magnesium flakes and half a cup of water 
to fill this one thing. And if it goes over, then I will have the spare bottle to add to it. So, and I will put maybe two drops of each of the oils, essential oils. The video that I saw, unfortunately, I don't know where it's at. I can't find it anymore. So I can't put it in the description box below, but I will put the magnesium, everything that I have purchased here, I will have in the description box below. Um, even this, I will look this up and I will put it if you want to just buy your own instead of making it. But that being said, so the girl that said how to make your own spray, she only used lavender oil, but because of this, I already had uh, the idea to add the other oils, which is why I am adding the frankincense and jasmine, just because I like the way jasmine smells. Hopefully they all smell good together. But without further ado, let's go ahead and we will get our water boiling and make our own magnesium spray. Alrighty, I've got my boiling hot water here. I am gonna open the magnesium flakes, see what they look like for the first time. I mean, I've seen a video and they're just, it's white, they're white flakes, not in person. Okay, I can just cut that all the way across and I know it's a lot of ASMR. Oh, come on. Alrighty, here we go. Get my water out of the way really quickly. Well, it doesn't really have, it's kind of, I don't know what that smell looks like. But there you go. That's the flakes. Oops, I'm dropping them. But wow, they can be pretty big. Alrighty. This is not for consumption. This is only topical. There's magnesium that is for consumption. That is not what this is. Uh -uh. So do not, do not eat this. <laughs> Alrighty, here, whoops, here's my half a cup of flakes. I'm going to pour that into the water. Oh yeah, and now I'm going to stir it to dissolve the magnesium and I'll let you know if it um, raises the level of the water. <laughs> I can't think. Like if it makes it more than four ounces. There we go, it's pretty much done. And it did. No, maybe it didn't. Maybe. I don't, I don't think it brought it up any, but that's okay. Now I'm going to add a couple of drops of the lavender oil. I've had this lavender oil for a while. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So good. I'm gonna Oh, there was a couple of three. <laughs> Didn't mean to get quite so much. Is this the empty? This might be a little empty, which is why I have two. There we go. One, two, there was three in that one. Now to add the jasmine. Oh, 
oops, that one got four. That's okay. I'm gonna stir this in. Ooh, wow, that is potent. It kind of smells, um, it's definitely floral. It is definitely floral, but it's not like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it, it right now it's very potent because <laughs> it's fresh. I'm going to let that cool, then we'll put them in the bottles and we'll see if I fill up just one or if I fill up two of them a little bit. So I will be right back when this is cooled off and then we'll be done. All right, so I have my bottle ready with the funnel and we're gonna go ahead and pour. Gonna try and be careful. Okay, not quite half there. <laughs> I think I'm more nervous about spilling. All right, so we are about right here. I think that's gonna be good. I'm gonna use the other bottle and fill the rest of it with that. Obviously this isn't going to be like a full... filled it up to about there so I believe these are four ounce bottles but this one is almost full and this one is about is just over half full now the ultimate test here is a really super fine mist it is working I'm gonna let it because I don't want it to explode <laughs> uh, it's still hot oh yeah so before I officially close them for the day I'm gonna let them rest unscrewed so that it's open a little bit. I will bring you back up in, in just a second. And just like that, we have made our own bottles of magnesium spray. And let me just tell you, it smells amazing in here. I, uh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm very glad. I think the next time I do this, when these are empty, I will do a little over four ounces that way I fill up both bottles to the basically to the top and uh, yeah I'm gonna stick one on my side of the bed so that I don't forget to spray the to do the spray on the bottom of my feet this was a lot of fun and I I don't know did I say this earlier I am looking I have a recipe to make lotion because I will probably use it as a lotion more so than a, as a spray I just don't have the ingredients to make it yet it's I believe um, the one that I found that seemed to be the simplest was the magnesium these are the ingredients the magnesium um, shea butter, beeswax, and coconut oil, and then water. And obviously I will add my essential oils that I want to add because it does say that you can do that. 
but I just I don't have the shea butter beeswax or coconut oil and but yeah I this is this is really handy I love being able to do something and this is gonna last me for a long time and not only does it save me money in the sense that it's gonna last me for a long time but it's also gonna save the environment because I'm not buying these individual packages I have my bottles that I will reuse and I'm excited and I can't wait to make the lotion because like I said I will use lotion more so than I will use the spray but now that I have the spray on my side of the bed, because Daryl took over this one, now that I have it on my side of the bed, I will use it because I, I just forget. Out of sight, out of mind, I forget. Anyway, enough about that. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. And if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click all on the notification bell. And with that, remember, gravity works, guys.